to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a set of spidery pumpkin-y nails using Madden Glam and Nail Sugar. Oh, and Crystal Parade. I forgot about those. Uh, so to start with, I'm going to take one of the nails and I'm going to apply a coat of the Perfect Black from Madame Glam. You can save... Pardon me. I've just had a cup of tea, sorry. You can save 30% on Madame Glam using my code NATMUG30. And you're going to want to do two coats on this nail. So two coats of black. And once that is done, I'm going to grab my velvet matte top coat. You could do it shiny. However, I... I'm going to do it matte because I'm going to draw some spider web lines on top of this and I want them to be as thin as possible. So in that goes, I'm going to use as well the prism powder from Nail Sugar. Now this isn't available anymore, but it's super, super fine. It's actually a holographic pigment, but I'm going to use it as a really, really fine glitter today because I want the lines, as I said before, really thin. So for the spider web, I'm gonna use the black gel paint. I don't know why I use black. I could have used white, but because it, you would have seen the white a lot better because I'm gonna sugar it. So thinking back, it I don't think it really matters if I'd have painted the spider web in, I could have probably painted it in any color. Um, and you wouldn't see because it's going to be sugared. So I mean, yeah, I'm just thinking because now I'm doing it in black. You can you can't see it very well. But look, I'm drawing on a French smile line. I'm drawing on a French smile line, a smile line. So imagine this is going to be like the spider web French nail, right? I'm going to start roughly in the middle, and so not in the middle, the middle of the the free edge bit, right? And we're going to start creating some lines going from away from that like middle point. And there we go, right? You can kind of see. It's quite hard to see. Other than the fact that it's shiny, it's difficult to see it. Right, and then we'll just do, yeah, one more. And then what you need to do is you need to start doing U-shapes like that so the the they curve it curves in towards the center of the spider web because i done a spider web once and i put the curves the wrong way and i was like oh and it looked really silly <laughs> oh goodness me yeah so the curves <gasps> sorry oh i'm so tired oh it's run day today it's monday run day and also i've been to work at the school so i feel pretty tired already right so i'm gonna carry on doing those little u's all the way around the nail and we're gonna do like about four three or four rows of those and can you see this is what it looks like you probably can't see it very well zoom in a little bit might be able to see it a bit better but we're not going to cure this we are going to sprinkle on top of this some of the prism powder. You could just, I wonder if star, there's stardust glitter, which is a fine glitter, but it's not as fine as this. And I wanted this super fine. So yeah. There we go. Once I've covered it completely, I'm going to pop it in the lamp for 60 seconds because the gel paints need 60 seconds. And then I, I'm just going to brush off the loose pigment. And we've look, we've got this super, super fine cobweb. It's a cobweb nail. How cool is that? I think that's probably, I think that's quite good. I thought it was going to come out thicker, but I'm glad it didn't because I, I wouldn't want it any thicker. So that's the first now. The second now, I'm going to use a colour called Sorceress. I think this is from the last collection or the latest collection. It's a kind of deep orange brown. Orangey brown. But this is going to be our like pumpkin y colour. So I'm going to pop that into the lamp. Again, the gel polishes need. 30 seconds and the gel paints need 60 we're gonna do two coats that's me saying two coats okay i've also done a black nail as well we're gonna work on this black nail for a second and then we'll go back to the orange one i don't know why i do this i kind of jump backwards and forwards sometimes so i apologize i've put a little bit of that orange onto my palette and then we're going to paint on a pumpkin 
So I'm just going to draw the outline initially. And then once I am happy with the shape, I will then fill it in. And this is what it looks like. So that will need a cure. And then I'm going to Velvet Matte top coat this one as well. Again, I mean, you, you could do it shiny. If you... I struggle to get nice thin lines on shiny nails because... Yeah, the, on the matte nails, the gel has something to, like, stick to. Whereas when it's shiny, it, it can kind of spread a bit more. Do you see what I mean? Because it's on a shiny surface. Um, so, yeah, so I like to use matte. But anyway, I am going to go around the outside of this pumpkin with the black gel paint. I'm going to yawn. Hang on. <gasps> oh, sorry. That's so rude, but I'm just so tired. I can't, I couldn't hold it in. And then I'm going to draw the details of the pumpkin. It looks like a peach at the minute. It's not a peach though. I promise it's a pumpkin. And I find pumpkin shapes quite easy to do. It's something that I quite enjoy because I find them quite easy. I do like the navette shape in the middle. And then two two curves each side of that it's like a, a canoe boat in the middle and then just yeah two curves either side and it's it's done look huh. you could even add you could even add, add two curves each side if you want your pumpkin but i think one looks one curve you have a canoe in the middle then you curve and then your outside edge but you know whatever do whatever you want oh i'm adding the stalk here and again, we are not going to cure this. We are going to sprinkle it with the prism powder. Look how fine it is. It's so fine. She's so fine. And she's so fine. Fine, fine. I don't know what that song is. It's Purcell. Do you remember the Purcell advert? It was an old one. Anyway, shush. Right, look, there we go. Look, I'm brushing off the excess. And there we go. Look how cool that looks. Oh, it's so sparkly and lovely. Then I decided, because we can we can add some spiders, because it's that time of the year where there's spiders everywhere. Uh, I don't really like spiders very much, but I don't I don't hate them. They just scare me a little bit. But, you know, if they're small enough, I'll just throw them outside. Actually, I find the bigger ones are easier to catch and put outside. It's the, the little ones that are the pain in the bum. So once we've done our little dots, we're just going to add four legs each side. And I also do like a little kind of line coming off them. But the line doesn't have to go all the way to the top of the nail. It's just kind of like a, like a, like a swoosh, a whoosh, you know, a whooshy line. Do you, yeah. They actually look like bed bugs, don't they? Or some kind of bug. They don't really look like... I tell you what, they could be those little tiny money spiders. Because I don't mind those. The little tiny, you know, the teeny weeny tiny whiny ones. My nan used to call them money spiders. There we go. That will go in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to do the same on this one. But instead of, you know, like some nails you can add like dots. Like little polka dots or dots. Well, this one, it's not going to be dots. It's going to be spiders. So it's exactly the same process, but you can see it better on this one because it's, yeah, it's against the orange. So can you see we've done four legs one side. I'm going to do four legs the other side. And then once we're done, we look something like that. This one I'm not going to add little webs to that they're dangling from because I'm not. And that will go in the lamp for 60 seconds. This is the Preciosa Bump in the Night mix from Crystal Parade. I'm not sure if the skulls are Preciosa skulls, but I think all the other crystals are Preciosa crystals. Um, you can save 10% on Crystal Parade bits and bobs using my code NATMUG10. Um, this, this crystal should have had a lot more gem glue than what I put on it. What I wanted to do here was... I was kind of going for a spider look, but also it kind of looks like the crystals are. I don't know what the. I don't know what the. They they kind of look like they are extending out from the stone, but it was it was kind of 
a spider, but not really a spider, but it kind of looks like a spider, but it's not really... I don't, I don't even know. So I just used some of the darker stones to go up against that big orange stone. And then I put some orange ones. And then I'm going to add some more black ones. Uh, every time I do a, a side, I will pop them in the lamp. Not a side, like a... Yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I do know what I'm trying to say, but I don't know how to say it, so I'm just going to shut up. This is the last lot of crystals. I don't know if you can see. Also, I kind of go out. It's, all, it's a bit blurry, which is a bit annoying. I'm going to do the same on this side. Is my voice got a bit... <coughs> Maybe I should cough. <coughs> a bit croaky. There we go. Look, same on that side. And then you can pop that into the lamp for a full 60 second cure. I'm using the crystal fix, by the way, which you can get from Crystal Parade as well. There we go. I'll pop that into the lamp. And that is that one done. I'm going to put it with the others and I will show you a quick close up. By the way, you can save 10% on nail sugar using my code NatMug10 as well. But the, the prison powder is not there. Anyway, I hope you like these. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you will not miss any future uploads from me. God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.